My mother used to say to me, where are you running? I don't know, I say, but I'm running. I don't know why. I'm still like that now. I was born Susan K. Quattrill. You know, I just don't think my father wanted four dependent daughters. So he brought us all up very ballsy. My brother had set up Mickey Mouse coming in. An offer was made that he wanted just her. It devastated them, and it devastated me. I didn't know anybody, didn't go anywhere. It's really, really lonely. Then I would say Susie Quattro came out of the ashes. She was the first and broke the ice and kicked the door for us gals. Certainly her position in being the first woman leading a band, having heads like that. At that time, rock was a male-orientated business. I played folk guitar. <laughs> and flute. A lot of girls tried to be Susie Quadro, but when it's actually in the DNA, you can't fake that. This woman has so much energy, so much talent. She could have done anything. Sunday, Monday, happy day. She started expanding her career. In fact, that was hard on the marriage. Strange how people don't like you to step out of a box, do they? And I refuse to be boxed. There's a whole chunk of growing up that got missed out. That's the person I'm trying to address now, that little girl. Yeah, I, I wouldn't tell her not to go. Just stop running so fast. You know, you got a little bit of a life yet to live. That Susie had a dream in Detroit, and all these years later, she is still living that dream. That is amazing. Hey.